Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. RSS is powerful. I've talked about it so many times. I've been a fan of RSS since long before it was supported uh, natively within the web browser. I built a service called tagjag.com uh, where you can go to look for things that you wanted to buy, and it will generate RSS search feeds that you can subscribe to. Why would you want to do that? Well, let's say, for example, uh, I'm here on tagjag.com, and I want to search for Logitech speakers. And maybe I know a specific model of Logitech speakers. I can drill down further if I wanted to. That's no big deal. Uh, okay, so I'm searching for Logitech speakers. I press search, and then in a couple seconds, I get a list of results. Logitech speakers on Amazon, Logitech speakers on eBay, other popular items, Logitech speakers, there's the Z5500s. And then, you know, obviously I can browse these results or, you know, click through uh, directly if I wanted to. But where the power of TagJag lies is specifically in these little icons. See, see that little feed icon? All right. If I click that icon, it will take me to the full-on RSS feed for that search. So I can subscribe to that search in my news aggregator, something like Google Reader. So anytime something new uh, with the keywords Logitech speakers happens to come up in Amazon, I'll be notified. I don't have to go back and search for it again. I can subscribe to that search feed. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is because I'm going to show you how to integrate Amazon searches, eBay searches, my YouTube searches, blog searches, all from within the Windows Explorer. It's easy to do. And I'm linking to the template so you can download them right now. Try it for yourself. You can even look at the source. It's, it's really not that complex. You can probably figure out how to do this on your own. It's, it's really not that difficult. But again, I'll give you the example so you can do this stuff yourself. Say here we want to search for results in my blog. Now that I've installed a search connector, this simple text file, again, the one that the, the example that one of the examples I'm going to give you, I've got this option here in my search tree in the Windows Explorer shell, again in Windows 7, it says Chris Perillo, right there. There's one underneath it that says Perillo YouTube. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you examples of both. Let's let's search Chris Perillo first. So I've got a, a very, very, uh, very stretched out uh, Windows Explorer pane here. Oh, pane, window, ow. Okay, so I'm going to search here in the search field. Let's do a search for the word book. And I'm not searching my local computer. No, no, no. I'm searching results on my blog using the search connector. Remember, RSS search is the gateway. This is how I'm able to search for results on my blog. I'm able to search for things on my blog without actually going to my blog. But then the preview pane pulls my blog in for these results. So I've got, uh, that was how to create your own book. Uh, there's the ultimate wine geek book. Uh, can marriage be saved without talking about it? Apparently, that was a book, uh, and it's pulling in the preview right here. I can again switch to Perillo YouTube and do a search for the word Intel. And I've done a couple of uh, videos on Intel, including the MSI Win Mini Laptop processor speeds. Let's do another search. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's try some random word like jump. Okay. Uh, tips on SLR, camera accessories to buy, jumping jack, flash, audio question. So I'm searching for items without going to the websites. I'm searching YouTube, but just videos that I've done on YouTube using this search connector file that I've integrated within the Windows Explorer. It's easy. It is so easy. And now you've got the link to download an example so you can integrate your own searches within Windows Explorer. But I'm going to take it a step further. I'm actually going to show you. Uh, remember that Amazon search feed that I created? Well, after integrating it within a search connector file right here, uh, I'm going to double click it to install it. And it'll give me a little uh, dialog here after I've installed. Double click. Hey, this search connector was successfully added to Windows. A shortcut was added to your Windows favorites. OK. So let's move uh, move the mouse over here again. Sorry, I've, I'm zooming in and out, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. Now, in my search tree, I've got Chris Perillo, Perillo YouTube, and Amazon. Hmm, wonder what I'm going to do now. So I've got Amazon selected. We're going to go up to search Amazon, again, from within the Windows Explorer. And we'll search for, let's do a search for, ah, let's do a search for the word Perillo, if I spell it right. And it's a dynamic search. So as I'm typing things in, 
Amazon in the background. The search connector is searching Amazon for the keyword Perillo. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got tons. Perillo's bar and grill wall or table clock. Okay. So now I'm browsing results dynamically from the keyword search Perillo uh, that happens to be on uh, Amazon. The woman in white. Tech TV's guide to computer basics. Oh, there we go. Right there. Hey, there's me. See how easy that is? See how fun that is? I mean, yeah, I could go to Amazon and search for that stuff. Yeah, I could go to my blog and search for that stuff. I could go to YouTube and search for that stuff. It's just not as easy. It's not as convenient. This is all within the Windows Explorer. I'll, I'll link to Perillo YouTube search. I'll link to the Chris.Perillo search. I'll link to the, uh, the Amazon search and eBay search that I'll also create for you. These, again, are files. They'll be uh, completely safe for you to install on Windows 7 so that you can have the search functionality within the Explorer shell. Kudos to the team who is responsible for this. And I know Brandon Paddock was a member of the team because he, much like me, is a huge RSS advocate, an open search advocate, an RSS search advocate. RSS rocks! Did I not just prove it? Did I not just prove it? Did, are, tell me, are you not going to try that? You're going to try it. You're going to build your own RSS searches. I know it. It's easy to do. I'll give you the templates. Look at the code. It's really not that complex, literally. In fact, uh, someone sent me uh, a version of a search feed. It's, this is it. This, this bit of text is it. I mean, there's nothing to it. If, if you can open up Notepad in a web browser and you're a geek, you'll have no problem with this. You'll be able to replace things lickety-split. It's not a big deal. And it's fun. And it's easy. And it isn't going to cost you a thing. And I'm already giving you five or six starting points with templates that I'll link to in the description. Anyway, uh, I'm kind of excited about this. I, I think it's a I think it's a huge step forward uh, in uh, in in bringing the power of RSS uh, to anybody. You didn't know anything about RSS potentially before watching this video. Now you're going to be using it in Windows 7 if you download the examples. Maybe you'll create your own search feeds. I wouldn't be surprised. It's easy to do, like I said. So I'm sorry for being long-winded, but you know this is kind of a, a topic that I kind of had to you know go in depth, you know, for, to cover everything. So tagjag.com, where you can generate search feeds you can subscribe to. I've got the examples. I've shown how to use this feature in Windows. Is there anything else? Gave you my email address, right? Chris at Well, I just gave it to you there, I guess. We got our community of geeks, geeks.perillo.com. Oh, I guess I should do a, a search feed for that one as well, huh? And I'll have to get on that. Uh, unless someone else wants to do it, that's fine. Uh, see here, what else? Oh, we've got the live video feed, uh, which does actually have an RSS feed. The, uh, the topic of the chat room is set by RSS. RSS is powerful. It pones you. And you didn't even know it. Didn't know that, did you? That's, that's, that's based on RSS. Kind of cool, huh? Oh, I thought he is. Anyway, you're welcome to stop by. We're typically talking tech, including all the new features in Windows 7. 24 hours a day. Well, we're not talking about Windows 7 24 hours a day, but we're talking about things that are related to the world of technology all the time with this live video feed in the chat room. And that feed, that changes dynamically when we change the topic. Where? Oh, well, that's easy. It, it's, it's that URL right there. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.